Thanks, Aaron. Welcome to the uh, AK class. Let's go ahead. Uh, let me talk about myself real quick. Uh, I've been uh, here for about four, four, three years here pretty soon. Uh, I'm sorry, two, two and a half years uh, here pretty soon. Um, so I've been uh, training here since uh, January. Uh, first man on the shop was in 1911. Who knew? <laughs> uh, first uh, rifle I ever bought myself was an AK because it was super cheap. It was like 400 bucks and the ammo was super, uh, super cheap. Uh, and so, you know, got that and then just kept going with it. So that's kind of why I came to class because it's it's an awesome rifle to get into. Everyone has ARs nowadays, and not a whole lot of people have AKs. And if they do, uh, not most, not a lot of them know how to run it, but the coolest pets now is way. So we're gonna run it that way here. All right. So uh, again, we're just going to touch, uh, touch on safety. I'm sure you guys know these rules very, very well. Uh, safety, keep your finger off the trigger. Uh, never uh, point the gun at anything you're not going to shoot or destroy. Uh, and uh, let's see, keep your finger off on safe. Take your red card. That's incredibly important, especially with these AKs. And no, uh, your target will always be on All right. So we're going to be indoors. Indoor gun range is going to be a little box. So uh, we're going to be firing in one little direction. Uh, and uh, if it goes any other way, we're not going to do that. All right. Any questions? All right. Awesome. This is a very basic PowerPoint, but I think you guys will appreciate going out there and shooting it. That's where we want, right? So uh, what we're covering today, uh, we're going to be doing fire, uh, fire manipulations. We're going to be doing reloads, strength of fire, high ready, low ready. And then towards the very end, when we get a debrief, we'll talk about what's next. Okay. So weapon manipulation, safety, uh, as you guys probably already know, safety is a lot different on the AK than it is on the AR. Um, Again, the gun was like, oh, no, was it? Oh, yeah, okay. Hello Gun Nation, Big Johnson here at Texas Gun Experience. I just did something I've never done before. Uh, and this, I'll let him go ahead and introduce himself. Hey, I'm Chandler, I'm one of the uh, instructors up here at Texas Gun Experience. All right, and I just took my first AK class. Y'all all know, I am not an AK guy, but as I always preach, you should know striker fire, double action, single action, revolver, AR, AK, shotguns, you know, at least be familiar. I'm not saying you have to be you know, the tactical person, but at least be familiar with them. I have shot AK before, but I've never done, you know, the things that I learned in this class. They do offer them up here at Texas Gun Experience, pistol classes, AK classes, all of that. Uh, the, the class that I took was not the entry, what was it? That's just the intermediate one, so right there in the middle. Yeah, so I was in the, in the middle, you know, I, I know how to shoot. Um, I will say this, I used one of their, um, Oh gosh, Century Arms. What was it, a Century <laughs> Arms what? Uh, that was a uh, Ross 47, I think. Okay, a Ross 47 Century Arms. The 
Okay, yeah. The sights were off, so when I was shooting, my groups were all to the left, which, you know, can happen. Um, I did have one failure, right? Uh, yes. Okay, well, what was it? I can't remember. Was it a, uh, so a failure? Oh, yes. It was a failure to feed, yep. correct? Mm -hmm. Failure to feed with that one. So we retired that Century Arms, and Chandler let me use his. This one is a lot different. It doesn't have the little step here, you know, which is, I don't know what you, what do you officially call that? A little side step or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's a helper, I guess. You know, it had it up here. So it was a little different with this one. Um, but this one shot really good. I will say this, it, it got pretty damn hot. Um, yeah, we shot quite a bit, but you know, I don't want to give away his course. Um, I took some pictures as you'll see in this video, so you can kind of get an idea of it, a little short videos. I do recommend taking it if you're not familiar with your pistol, your rifle, your AK, whatever it is. Um, you know, we did like some tactical reloads, which I was not familiar with on an AK platform. Um, you know, how to just, just kind of how to get back in, back in the fight. That's what it's about. But, you know, I don't, like I said, I don't want to give away his class, so I'm not going to tell you everything and I didn't film the whole entire thing. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. I did learn a lot of stuff that I did not know. And I think that people should become familiar with different platforms because if something ever happened, yeah, you've got an AR, but you might not be able to get to it. There's an AK there or a certain type of pistol there. But, you know, as far as how I did, I know the basics, you know, very basics of an AK. Um, and don't sugarcoat it. You can drop me under the, in the grease if you want. But how do you think as far as I guess since I didn't start the entry level class, how do you think I did coming into, you know, the intermediate class? So you definitely did a lot better than a lot of people I've seen. Um, I will say uh, you're kind of in that like uh, gray area between the intro and the intermediate. Okay. Um, whenever it came to the reloads, uh, I, I was watching you. You were kind of struggling with the tactical and the the, uh, the emergency reloads, uh, stuff like that. Um, you're struggling with those. Uh, we don't really cover that in intro one, but it is weird going from an AR magazine, which is a little thinner, a little more straight than the AK magazines, and adding that and uh, uh, using two magazines, smacking them against each other, taking it out, putting a new one in there. So it is just a different manual of arms. Uh, but I, I uh, uh, saw uh, you progress. You went from kind of taking the magazine out, putting a new one in, and then uh, you got a lot better. Okay. End, so. Yeah, and like I said, I shot first with irons and I was going to the left then when I got the dot I really centered that up it helped quite a bit um, you know then I got to doing the head shots versus the body shots uh, there were three of us in there really I guess we started with four but he had to do something so there was three of us in the class uh, we did learn a lot from Chandler you know he does like a PowerPoint so you're going to do a classroom portion but it's very short and then you go straight to the range so kind of had I guess what is that five bays it's a whole little room with like five or six bays sectioned off. So we had that whole room. Now granted, on the videos uh, that I show, you're gonna hear some booms, but it's coming from next door. So we had that, we you know all shot up front first so we could be proficient and he could check us. And then we moved up, so we were down range closer. Um, <clears throat> we also did, you know, he did introduce us, <coughs> excuse us, excuse me. He did introduce us to if we wanted to take the next class, which is you know more aggressive, and now what is that one called? Uh, that's the advanced class. Okay. There should be a lot more moving involved with that one. Yeah, so we did get to, to try one of those maneuvers and things that they do. So you're kind of you know walking really, you're running up and then you're shooting. Uh, so that was actually really cool. So if you're super advanced or something and you might want to take that, I would recommend it. I would even like to take that class. Uh, one thing. You know, I'm so used to the C clamp because I got the long arms. We've talked about that before. I did notice <clears throat> I need a lot more length of pull. <laughs> uh, this one seems very short to me. And then also, you know, I caught myself a couple of times and that's why I think we should train with other weapons. And this one is clear. You'll see it's got a flag in it. There's no ammo in the room and no magazines. But, I, you know, I was actually accidentally C clamped it a couple of times because that's what I'm used to. And I didn't do it very long. So, uh, you know, that is why I think learning a different platform and experiencing something that someone teaches is such a great thing. Uh, I do want to take their pistol class also, um, you know, maybe even their advanced just to see if I could pick up some tips. And, you know, so we're going to be doing that. But 
everyone's asking, have you taken any classes? Have you done any of this? I really have it prior to this, uh, and I think it was great to have a totally different platform that I'm not experienced with. But you know, Chandler, if you want to reach out, Texas Gun Experience, you can go online and actually pick your classes if you're in the Grapevine, Texas, DFW area. Uh, they have them, you know, like once a month periodically, so you can get a reservation for that, sign up for it. But, you know, I'm looking forward to doing more of them. I thought it was a lot of fun. He was a great teacher. And, you know, it was very nice of him to let me shoot his gun and not that Century Arm piece of shit. Um, but, you know, if you've got a Century Arms, I'm not hating on you, but this particular one, I wasn't uh, very fond of it. So, but thank y'all so much for watching. In Texas Gun Experience, they've got guns, they've got knives. I mean, right behind us, you'll see their knife center. They have, how many knives do they have in there? About a thousand. I was gonna say, it might even be more than thousands, <laughs> yeah. but as far as, you know, whatever you want, shooting, they've got it all here. Uh, you can sign up for membership. So it's really a great place. I love it. You know, they treat me very nicely. All their staff is really nice. And if you're flying into DFW, I would recommend at least stopping by and taking a look at the place. I've had several of my subscribers go, man, I flew in, had to do some work in you know, the area, and I made sure and go by Texas Gun Experience, and that place is awesome. So many, many people that have never been here come in and they're like, holy crap. They also have, I think, 250 machine guns. You can rent you know, whatever you want and shoot machine guns. I mean, it's really a cool place. So thank y'all so much for watching. You know, thank you to Chandler for teaching this class, and uh, really appreciate y'all so much. And remember, an unarmed nation is a very weak nation, so we all got to carry on. Take care, everyone.